Every single day that a doctor goes to the bedside or an EMT or a nurse, they don't have in their hand an ultrasound device to do a history physical image to assess the patient. There is somebody waiting too long in the emergency room for the right diagnosis. That shouldn't be happening. Every medical school class that leaves medical school without this skill is officially behind. Thinking through like what I do, a lot of times it's history, image, physical. A lot of my old school physicians will be turn, turning over saying, wait, you're not going to do a physical exam first. You're going to do imaging. You know, if that can make the diagnosis, you know, diagnose a pulmonary edema when they're still on the EMS stretcher on, on BiPAP, it's like my exam's not going to add anything. I've, I've made the diagnosis with the ultrasound. Which allows us to sort of guide our management. And that's really where we're going to change what happens to people. Once we see that it's not the lungs, for example, then maybe we're going to start to say we can reduce what we're going to do. We don't really need that x-ray. We can now do other things. You know, there's resource limited and then there's conflict and crisis areas and they're even less resourced. So in that moment, these are emergent situations without any imaging, it's nearly impossible to do that. And so especially in those areas, having something like a portable ultrasound has changed management across the globe. This isn't just the right thing to do. It's better medicine. It'll fundamentally change what is possible, what we can offer our patients. The question is, will we rise to this occasion or will we let it pass us by?